Hi, my name is Jean and this is my channel, Learn with Jean. In today's video, I'm going to share and go over some exciting changes with site admin permission changes in the Gifik, especially when it comes to financial information. Some of you may have noticed or may have seen this before where previously you're adding a VA or you're adding a team member, a manager, or someone else to help oversee operations of your team and Thinkific business and all of the information in terms of users, in terms of emails, financial information is all available for them to see clear. But now there are some changes which I'm excited to sh show you and demo where you can look at your site settings and hide financial information. This is especially important and valuable because you do not want to share and reveal all your financial information in your business to everyone because there are some sensitivity and even if you have confidentiality clauses and non-competes or any kind of agreement, you just never want to reveal everything about your business to everyone until you have a trust and rapport with them. And even then, there are some things that are hidden and should be hidden um, from different levels of your team because that is not their area and purview. And you also do not want your financial details about your business, revenue, how much you're charging, how much you're making to everyone, especially different team members or different affiliates or different co-instructors because those are sensitive information and not necessarily comfortable revealing all of your business secrets. Now I'm going to give you a quick overview of how this works and how you can change this in your own Thinkific dashboard. So now log into your Thinkific dashboard. I am logged into my Sandbox account. And then if you click on settings, you will see all these different tabs up here. And we're specifically looking for this payments tab. And under this payments tab, you will see this hide financials here. And then I'm on a sandbox account, so no payments are enabled. But then if you go down to the bottom and you scroll to this hide financials, you can toggle this hide sensitive financial data button on. This is really important because everyone reacts to financial data differently, positively or not positively or neutral, <laughs> however you interpret it. But best to always keep data about your revenue, customers, and how much sales that you are generating from different products and revenue streams to yourself because people may use that to reveal that to others, to use that to hurt your business. And so as the CEO of your business, always protect your financial data and hide this so that only you as the business owner and CEO has this information. And if you also need more information, I will put a link to this article that explains a little bit more about the hiding financial information from partners and other uh, contractors or uh, team members so that you can understand what the restrictions show you. So I'll put a link to this article in case you need to review and learn more about where this data is being hidden from, who does not get access. But basically, anyone, everyone is excluded from seeing your financial data except for you. So I hope this helps you protect your business and guard confidential and sensitive information to ensure the safety and security of your business. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.